so as her mother and her sister and the other members of the royal family watched her pass. Her Majesty now moves in her procession down the length of this abbey, moves in her beautiful shimmering gown with its long purple train, the train of purple velvet lined with gold, edged with ermine, embroidered all over with gold. And she wears, as we see her now, the imperial state crown. In her hands, the scepter and the rod, the sign that in her hands, justice and mercy are never to be separated. Her supporting bishops walk with her as their predecessors have done through the centuries. The maids of honor bear her train. The mistress of the robes walks behind, never for one moment taking her eyes from the train. On each side, the long white plumes of the gentlemen of arms escort Her Majesty as she moves now through the organ screen and into the nave. And we too now go to the west door of the abbey so that we may see Her Majesty approach. Preceded by the three swords, by the officers of state. that stirring music, majesty, splendor, and beauty pass from our sight as the queen goes in her lovely robe out of the nave of the abbey. History has been written and sung here today in this warm and beautiful old building where it has been written and sung for many hundreds of years. But never before have so many seen the crowning of the sovereign, or so many shared in her dedication in this Abbey Church, which in its changing forms has sheltered the crowning of our kings and queens for nigh on a thousand years.